$10,000 a month, $2,500 a week, and just $334 a day is what separates you from the top 10 of all income earners worldwide. That's only $13.70 an hour for one year straight. $13.70, that's it. That's all that is holding you back from being able to live the life that you truly want to, being able to look after yourself financially and your family financially, as well as be able to travel to the destinations that you truly want to travel to. In fact, according to a 2018 Global Wealth Report by Credit Suisse, you don't even need to be a six-figure earner in order to become part of the top 10% of all income earners worldwide. Having a net worth of $93,170 is enough to propel you to being richer than 90% of the entire population. And there is this calling. You've probably felt it. I've definitely felt it. And if you're watching this, you probably feel it too. There is just this alluring pull that makes you want to become part of this top 10%. And I know, and I probably know that you know, that you cannot shake it no matter what you do. It got me and it's probably got you. And it seems like everybody is fighting and clamoring to be part of this illustrious top 10% of people that's making more than 10K per month. So in today's video, I'm gonna be revealing to you the top three systems and principles you absolutely must follow in 2024, especially if you want to be part of this top 10% and make $10,000 per month with your business. And this is going to work even if you're a broke student watching this. I'll also be breaking down what you need, what the best business models are to get into in 2024. And I'm gonna show you how to thrive with those business models in 2024. So sit back, relax, grab a pen and stay until the end because I'm actually going to be giving you a completely free resource that you're definitely going to need, especially if you're going to take this stuff serious and it's completely free. So if you're ready to change your life in 2024, let's begin. First of all, I need to break down some of my personal experiences so that you understand that I am actually worth listening to. For those that don't know me, my name is Montel and just recently I was able to officially surpass making my first $1 million online by productizing the knowledge and experiences I have in my head. And of course, I did not start off like this though. I started far from it, in fact. When I first started getting into online business, I was around 21 years old, just about to turn 22 i had no skills i was riddled with anxiety and i'd run away from home so i had no stable home simply due to the amount of arguments i would have on a daily basis for pretty much a year plus straight with my parents because i kept failing all these different business models before actually finding a little bit of success in fact when i first got started i actually thought and this was my belief i believed that making money online was either too good to be true it was a pipe dream or anybody that was pushing making money online was either a scam or they were just damn right, outright lying to you and manipulating people. Fast forward to today though, I've had months where I've literally pulled in more than $90,000 in a single month with my profit margin being just above 90% sheer profit. I get to drive one of my dream cars, which is a brand new Porsche Macan GTS. And I'm looking at picking up a brand new McLaren sometime soon, even though it's a stupid move, to be honest with you. I also get to live in my dream apartment, which is where I'm shooting this video at from right now. And I don't have to worry about paying rent. Now, I'm not saying any of this to be egotistical, to brag, to sound like I'm better than anybody else or to virtue kind of like signal or anything like that. I'm showing you simply where I started from to where I've been able to scale myself just to show you that this sort of stuff that I'm about to reveal to you is actually possible and you can do it too, especially if I could do it. So this leads me perfectly onto my very first point and the very first principle that you need to follow in 2024, which is please stop falling for get rich quick. What I want you to do instead is get rich slowly, but surely over time. Realistically, you probably wouldn't be thinking that you can get to 10K per month within three months if it weren't for all the gurus that you've been watching on YouTube. And I certainly know that you wouldn't be thinking like this if you were starting any other type of business. I see this every single day in my Instagram DMs. I'll get like a 17 year old to like 25 year old in my DMs, right? You know, these are all Ian Mangaji fans trying to start a marketing agency and they've tried to scale it to like 10K per month within three to six months and they've not been able to achieve that. And all that's left them is feeling burnt out, 
feeling with a bit of a salty taste in their mouth. They say that the business models that they're trying don't work and they overall just feel extremely disheartened. What people fail to realize is that not many people are actually able to scale from never having run a business ever to scaling to 10K per month within three months to six months. Like not many people are able to do that. Not even Iman Gaji himself was able to do that. What you seem to be forgetting is that Iman actually was reading books at the age of 14 years old and he didn't actually start a marketing agency until he was like 16, 17 years old. That's a three year gap of him trying business models, reading books and building himself a small audience here on YouTube. If you take a look at his channel right now, you will see that he actually started his YouTube channel at the age of 15 and he built that up and built himself an audience. Now for somebody like Iman, like I said, he started reading books at the age of 14, didn't scale an agency to 10K per month until he was 17 years old. That's a three year time frame that you're missing out, which by the way, is still extremely impressive. So what you're trying to do is cram three years worth of business reading business understanding, business learning, self-development, all into three years. You can't cram three years of learning and development into three months and expect it to work for you. So please, just listen to me. Stop trying to get rich quick. Stop trying to rush the process. Stop trying to cut corners and please get rich slowly, but sturdily and solidly over time. Start thinking long term as well, because when you start thinking long term, it allows you to start seeing business in a completely different light. You start making better business decisions. When you think in three month terms, trying to get to 10K per month in three months, you start looking for corners to cut. You don't really actually learn your craft and hone in on your skills. You don't actually get into lots of self-development and ultimately ends up hindering your business. So this leads me on to the second principle and system that you must follow. And I can break this one down in one simple word. And that word is reach. Reach, or should I say more importantly, attention is the most important thing you need to build and own in 2024. You see, having and owning attention is actually more important, believe it or not, than actually being skilled. It's more important than having a world-class offer. It's more important than learning sales. And it's also more important than having crazy outlandish guarantees. And if you don't believe me, here is a point to back up my statement because I see agency owners with top, top world-class offers with amazing testimonials, with crazy guarantees that are struggling to even get to 5K per month. And the reason for that is not because they're bad agency owners, it's simply due to them not having enough reach and thus having enough attention on their offers. And I see this literally every single day across my desk, especially through my Instagram DMs. In fact, here is an agency owner right here that I had a call with and she's actually said the exact same thing. I understand that that's your, your, your aim for sure, which is a good mm -hmm. aim by the way. But let me ask you this. How many people do you mm. know personally, not from the internet, like actual family members or friends that you actually mm. know in your hometown, how many of them do you know that have bought a service for $1,000 per month from a mm. stranger that's cold called them? No one. Not, well, not no one I know personally. Exactly. Here's what I've never, ever seen. I have never, not once, seen a person with a legit audience that they've built themselves go hungry. I've never seen them struggle for money. You see, most people in this online business space, whether that's agency owners, online coaches, consultants, you name it, what I've seen that they have is a whole bunch of cold outreach going out, but no long-term audience being built in the back end. And that's the same thing that's keeping them broke. You see, the reason for that is because outreach is a form of one-to-one -one marketing that does not compound over time. In fact, if you don't believe me, take a look at Iman Gaji's four videos that he released. I believe these were in November. These four videos alone amassed a view count of around 6.3 million views. Now, in order to compete with somebody like Iman Gaji, if he was doing cold outreach, you would literally need to send 6 million 300,000 outreach in a single month. And if you want to do the maths on that, that means you would need to literally send 210,000 cold emails or 210,000 cold calls or Instagram DMs, you know, insert your form of outreach here every single day for a month straight. And if you really want to get into that, that's around 8,700-ish outreach per hour. Needless to say, 
if you're doing outreach right now, you're never ever even going to come close to even achieving one tenth of this. Not because you're working hard or not working hard, should I say. It's simply because you're not working hard at the right things. You're not working hard at things that give you leverage. That's another keyword I want you to write down if you've got a piece of paper in your hand right now. Do you actually know how many agency owners I've spoke to over the last four or five years and they've told me they've spent one, two, maybe even three years straight trying to do cold outreach and they've literally never cracked being able to make 5k a month with their agencies and here's the sad thing about this even if they were just to create a personal brand drop maybe three youtube videos a week for the same time frame that they've spent doing cold outreach which is two years three years they'd be in such a much better position and they would actually have something to show for it these guys that are all doing cold outreach for two years straight three years straight they literally have spent three years building nothing how crazy is that and the third and final thing you need in order to scale to 10K per month is of course the correct business model. Now, needless to say, and I know that this is probably obvious, but there are many ways of cracking $10,000 per month profit with a business in 2024. So let me break down some of the best ones right now. Number one, you can obviously offer a done for you service. That would be doing a service for a client or a business owner or a prospect in exchange for a monthly reoccurring fee. You could actually help, for example, real estate agents build their YouTube channel and build their personal brands. So you could help them organically build their channel, boost that with paid ads and actually help them with Instagram or even YouTube ads itself. And you can do that as a done for you service. And when you do this, this business model can actually pull in profit margins around 60 to 70, maybe even 80% if you actually outsource and build a team correctly. Another one of the benefits to this business model is that you don't really need much startup capital in order to start this business. What I've seen in 2023 going into 2024 and just even beyond that is that there's two massive problems that most gurus will not tell you about. At the first one, and you know this to be true if you're running a marketing agency, is that you can actually become a slave to your clients even when you figure out how to outsource correctly. The second major drawback I have found when it comes to running a marketing agency, a done for you marketing agency, is that your clients see you as nothing more than a service provider and thus they see you as replaceable at any moment in any time. I personally would stay away from doing so in 2024 because I've just found better business models out there. Everybody in their uncle right now is trying to start a marketing agency because it has such low barrier of entry that any kid in their bedroom can immediately just go and find a media buyer. The second type of business model I wanna break down that I've seen a lot of people make 10K per month from is obviously running an e-com store, more specifically doing drop shipping. This, if you don't know, is a business model where you basically build a shop front normally on Shopify and you source products from China, but you don't actually own the products or physically have the products in stock. But what ends up happening is somebody will come to your storefront, aka you drive traffic to your storefront, people will then click on order product and when that order goes through and they put in their details, that's sent off to the warehouse in China. The warehouse in China then will process that order and ship directly from their warehouse all the way to your customer's address without you actually needing to order the product in yourself. However, there are major drawbacks to this particular business model, which I'll break down right now. Number one is trying to drive traffic is very expensive. If you don't run ads for your business, you're probably going to need to build up organically trying to go viral. So your profit margins on a good dropshipping store I've seen are around 20, maybe even 25 to 30%. If you've got a 30% profit margin on a dropshipping store and you're running ads profitably, you have a very successful business. Another major issue that I found with dropshipping that I found myself was when you actually ship from China to somebody in the United Kingdom or the United States, the shipping times are sometimes astronomical, which of course creates a whole bunch of complaints, a whole bunch of bad reviews. And I've seen a lot of people get their ad accounts shut down permanently. However, the major drawback for me in this particular business model is I feel like you're not really building a real business. You're not really making a positive impact on humanity and you're not leaving a dent in the universe. You're just doing it for money when you think about it. I mean, think about it. 
you're selling cat necklaces from China to people in the United States just to make money. And most of the skills that you learn when it comes to dropshipping aren't really that transferable unless you go and run a marketing agency. Now this leads me on to the very next business model, which is my personal favorite because I believe it's the most important business model you can get into. It allows you to build real wealth. It allows you to make an actual impact and it allows you to basically really help people. And that is selling a digital program or product with a community attached to that. Let's say you're good at producing music or at least semi decent. So what you could do there in that particular case is create online tutorials. And what that will allow you to do is build yourself an audience online. And that audience in turn over time can actually become monetized by selling a low ticket digital program, maybe an online course. So running with this example, the most obvious thing you could sell to people trying to get into music would be an online program teaching them how to actually create music, create beats, master tracks all that sort of stuff and you can put that into an online program another thing you can sell with a business model like this would be presets or digital downloads but ultimately what i really do love about this type of business is that your profit margins are like 97 percent because you're selling either digital downloads but it also allows you to scale infinitely because when i was in the marketing agency sphere and running my own agency honestly i was running ads just to make money i mean think about it selling men's t-shirt or skincare products is for money you're not thinking about the impact you're making you're not thinking about actually changing people's lives you don't care about that at that particular point you only care about making money and the only drawback i can find with a business model like this is that number one you actually have to know what you're talking about which if you think about it is a crazy statement to even make you should know what you're talking about if you're going to start a business and my question to you is should you really be making money from a business you're not actually at least semi-skilled in and now that i think about it now that i've said that i kind of see this drawback as more of a benefit because think about it there are a whole bunch of people in sma right now that don't actually know how to run ads trying to sell ads to clients which in turn have burnt clients and now clients don't want to work with marketing agencies and the whole thing is just oversaturated because it has a low barrier of entry SMA is honestly just full of a bunch of like kids right now hiring a whole bunch of media buyers that don't actually have any skills trying to scale to 10k per month and I'm in 2024 here to change that. So when you start business models that have a low barrier of entry like SMA has right now, it's obviously going to attract a lot of garbage, low quality players to the game. It's just how it goes. So without making this video any longer, what I want you to do is check out a much more in-depth free training that I completely put together for you for completely free. Like I said, you don't have to put your email in or anything like that. It's actually here on YouTube. I'll link it somewhere on the screen right now. It's completely free, but it will show you exactly the free system you need in order to scale to 10K per month in 2024, even if you're completely broke with no skills. But that being said, I am rooting for every drop of your success in 2024, and I'll see you at the top. Peace.